Hey everyone, welcome back to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. Today we're gonna be sublimating on dark fabric with Caesars Easy Subly. Um, with this, it comes with an HTV sheet and a masking sheet. Um, you can kind of tell the difference once you have this in your hand. This side is very matte and dull. This is the side that we want to put um, in our um, printer to print on. And this is our mask. It kind of feels and like you can hear it like a vinyl. Um, this is what's going to go on top. This is going to be our transfer to our dark fabric. In today's video, the supplies are very minimal. Um, the only thing that I, you will need is the Cricut um, Easy Press. You need a mat because we're doing um, design space work with a print then cut. And then you need your Caesar um, Easy Subly. As I've already talked about today's supplies, we're going to go ahead and get measured with our shirt so we know what we have to make our measurements in our design space. With that being said, though, using Cricut um, design space to print and cut, you can only do a certain amount of inches long and a certain amount of inches wide. So with that being said, let's see what our measurements would be on our shirt that we think is doable, and then we'll hop over into design space. So with this shirt, um, I just have a normal, this is 100% cotton. You can use that with the Caesars Easy Subly. You do not have to use polyester. So I'm going to say, let's do roughly like maybe nine inches. I think that's very doable by maybe like, I would do maybe eight. So maybe like a nine by eight. We'll see what our design space lets us measure. All right, everyone. Now that we're over in our design space, this is the image that I've chosen out of our Makers Gonna Learn sublimation file. Um, with that being said, this is exactly how it needs to be uploaded. This is exactly how I want it to print. So the only thing that we need to do once we get into design space is use our measurements that we just did on our shirt to fit into our cut file. So I think whenever you do um, a print thin cut, so like for instance, um, I just kind of made this bigger and you can see that we're getting the little caution. It's not going to let you make it. Once you hit make it, it's going to say that it's incompatible. So let's go over here and click our little caution to see kind of what's going on. And it says that our image is too large. So with this being said, we need to make sure that our width is 6.75 and our length is no more than 9.25. With that being said, I can come over here and unlock our image if we want to, or you can just lock it. I'm going to leave it locked and I'm just gonna top in the 6.25 to see what that gets me in length wise. And that may be very doable. So on the shirt, I wanted eight inches long and I did want nine inches wide. However, I think this is working really well. So the only thing that we have to do now is we're going to click make it. And with the Caesars Easy Subly, you do not have to mirror your project. I know most sublimation, you do have to mirror it. However, when you're using the Caesar Easy Subly HTV sheet, you do not have to mirror your project. The only thing we're going to do now is we're going to click continue and we're going to send it to our sublimation printer. All right, everyone, now that I have printed my design, the only thing we're gonna do now is load this onto our mat. And this is the design that I've chosen, of course, and we just want to line it up with the edge of our mat like we normally would if we're doing a print and cut. Once this is down and done, the only thing we're gonna do now is load it into our Cricut. All right, everyone, once you've loaded your mat, you're gonna go ahead and load it into your Cricut. And we are just going to cut this on everyday iron-on with our normal fine point blade at regular pressure. While your Cricut is cutting out your image, we can go ahead and take out our Easy Press and we are going to heat it to 310 degrees for 15 seconds. I do want to let you know though, the package says to do 311, set, or 311 degrees for 15 seconds. It's okay if you do 310 degrees. 
All right, everyone, now that our image has been cut, we are going to weed out everything that we do not want to transfer. So the only thing that I want on my shirt is the lightning bolt with mama. So we can go ahead and just pick at the edge of this. And simply, we're just going to weed off everything we do not want. And it should come off very easily in one little piece. Oh, awesome. All right, so once that is weeded, we're going to take our masking um, transfer tape and we're just going to peel off the back of this. And once we get the back peeled like this, we're gonna take our masking sheet and we're going to taco method down. And I'm just going to take my scraper and we're just gonna burnish this on here. So now that this is good and burnished, the only thing we're gonna do now is remove both of these from our mat. And then we are going to take off our back sheet All right, and once that is removed, the only thing we're gonna do now is place this down on our shirt. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this to the side, get our shirt going. And what I like to do to make sure that we're going down the middle is I just wanna take, simply just going to fold it collar to collar and sleeve to sleeve. Once that is done, then I'm just going to flatten it out and I just want to set my heat press on here just to make a crease so I know what the middle of my shirt is going to be. And I know you guys may not be able to see this and that's okay, but as long as you can see it as you're doing it, there's my line. Once that is on there, we're going to take our design and I simply just kinda wanna fold this in half as well to where my letters match up. And I just wanna make a simple little crease here. Just very simple. Now I know where the middle of my shirt is and I wanna go four finger lengths down. So right about, I would say here, is center of the shirt. We need to move this up a little. And I'm gonna get my wrinkles out of my shirt. All right, once this is down and on here, we can lay our butcher's paper down. This is kind of a big sheet. Let's use a smaller one. Now the only thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our heat press and we're going to go 310 degrees for 15 seconds. So we're going to push that down and we're going to click start. You do want to add pressure to this and we're just going to wait for the full 15 seconds. Now that that is done, we can remove this. And I wanna make sure all of my stuff got touched. I did miss a little piece down here at the bottom. So the only thing I'm going to do is take my new sheet and I'm just gonna press this bottom for a little bit longer. All right, that may be good. Once that is done, let's let this cool off for just a second. And then we can remove our masking tape. Look how quick and easy this was to make, guys. If you like what you see, you need to make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and you also check out our membership page. With that, we offer exclusive sublimation courses to you, start to finish on how to set up your printer and how you get the best results. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.